Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday service. At this time, let's all get up from our seat and let's open with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He ascended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sitting at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he to come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, everyone, let's go into a time of Bible memory verse together. At this time, let's read it aloud uh, this month's Bible memory verse together. Ready, set, go. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. We must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. And it's from John chapter 15, verse 4. All right, guys, let's review our last week's Bible memory verse part together. All right, let's read it aloud. One, two, three. Remain in me as I also remain in you. And it's from John chapter 15, verse 4. All right, guys, let's do one more quick review together. All right, ready? The first word is, remain in me as I also remain in you. And we know it's from John chapter 15, verse 4. Great job, everyone. I'm super proud of you. At this time, let's do this week's Bible memory verse part together. Let's read it aloud. One, two, three. No branch can bear fruit by itself. And it's from, as we know, John chapter 15, verse 4. All right, let's take this time to read it aloud and make sure we really memorize it. Ready, set, go. No branch can bear fruit by itself. 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 John chapter 15, verse 4. No branch can bear fruit by itself. John chapter 15, verse 4. All right, guys, I'm sure you couldn't do it. Let's do one more quick review together. All right, let's go together. No branch can bear fruit by itself. And it's from John chapter 15, verse 4. All right, guys, at this time, let's all get up from our seat. Let's go into time of body worship together. <laughs> The whole world in 
great job, everyone. Let's continue more to do it together. Let's all come together. Let's close our let's close our eyes. Let's bring our hands together. Let's bow our head and let's pray together. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this joyful and fun time of worship we were able to have. And Lord, uh, throughout the week, Lord, uh, may we be reminded of how much you love us and how much joy we have in you. And Father, we also ask right now, Lord, uh, give us wisdom, the heart that understands your word. Uh, as Pastor Moses comes up and preach your word and preach the gospel, we thank you and pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, at this moment, Pastor Moses will come up and deliver us today's sermon. So let's all give him a super warm welcome. Pastor Moses, woo! Yeah. Thank you for the warm welcome, as always. Uh, let's. Uh, read our passage together. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 18, verses 10 to 13. Luke 18, 10 to 13. Let's read in one voice together. This is the word of God. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you uh, for this time that we could uh, listen to your word and uh, find hope in you through your word. Uh, I pray that you'll help us to listen. Uh, although there might be a lot of things that could distract us, may only you uh, be the focus of our hearts right now. So please help us uh, to look to you uh, and to receive your great word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
When we do uh, something wrong to someone, we should do what? We should say sorry, right? And hopefully, they will do what? Forgive us. Okay, one more time. When we do something wrong, then we should do what? Say sorry. And hopefully, they forgive us. Okay. Um, when they forgive us, what happens? Our relationship is restored. That's why we want to uh, say sorry. That's why we want for them to forgive us. Because we want our relationship to be restored. We want it to go back to normal. In our story today, we can see that there is a Pharisee. Everyone say Pharisee. And a tax collector. Everyone say tax collector. They both were praying to God. And we all know praying is very important, right? Amen. Yes. And the Pharisee was thankful. You can see he's happy. He's thankful. Okay. Why was he thankful? He's thankful that he's not like that tax collector over there. Okay. Why? Because tax collectors were considered bad people at that time. Because they did bad things. They stole money from people. And so the Pharisee thought that he has a good relationship with God because he's not bad like that tax collector because he does good things like give offering and, and and does other good things that people say wow that's a great job so he thought I have a good relationship with God the tax collector also prayed but he couldn't stand like the Pharisee he kept his head down and he said God have mercy on me. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm a sinner. Which one of the Pharisee or the tax collector do you think has a good relationship with God? The Pharisee or the tax collector? You guys give me the answer. The answer is the tax collector has a good relationship with God. Why? Because the Bible tells us that we all need forgiveness. Everyone's saying, we all need forgiveness. One, two, three. We all need forgiveness. One more time. One, two, three. We all need forgiveness. We all need forgiveness. Why? Right? Because we are all sinners. We have all made Mistakes we have all turned from God. Okay. And God forgives us when? When we say sorry. When we realize we are sinners. And we say, sorry God. Please forgive me. God forgives us. You might think you're a good person. You might think you're a nice person. And you are. But that doesn't make you have a good relationship with God. The only way you can have a good relationship with God is if you realize you're a sinner and that only God can forgive you and you ask for that forgiveness and He gives it to you. Then you can have a good relationship with God again. So I want to encourage you. I hope that we can all Turn to God and say, God, I'm sorry. Because there are, there's times where we sin against God, right? Like, do you get angry? Sometimes. Do you, are you selfish? Sometimes. Do you steal things? Sometimes. Do you say bad words? Do you hurt people? Do you know what all those things show? It shows that we have sin in our hearts. That we have made mistakes and we have turned from God and in order for our relationship with God to come back to normal to be that wonderful relationship we were created for we need to say sorry so I want to encourage you think about the sins and, and, and the separation you have with God and say God I'm sorry be like the tax collector right what we see here, I'm sorry, God. 
please forgive me. Please change my heart and allow our relationship to be a good relationship again so that I could see how amazing you are every day, every moment. I know that you're with me every day, every moment, and I can live my life for you. Only when I, I know, I believe I'm forgiven, that we have that beautiful relationship again. So I want to encourage you. God forgives us. So let's take advantage of that. Give Him our sins and allow Him to wash away your heart so that you can have a wonderful relationship with Him again. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for Your Word today. And we learn today that all of us need forgiveness. All of us have sinned. All of us have turned our hearts from You. All of us do not love You because our hearts have turned away. What we see here through the tax collector, that if we realize our sin and say, Sorry God, forgive me, have mercy on me, you love us so much that you forgive us and you restore that relationship with us. Help us not to be like the Pharisee who, who thinks he's a good person, who thinks because he does good things that he's a nice person. That does not give us forgiveness. That does not change our hearts. That does not make our relationship with you into a wonderful relationship. Only when you forgive us can we experience it. So please help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, thank you, Pastor Moses. What a powerful sermon. And throughout this week, I hope we could keep it, uh, this message both in our heart and in our head. And at this time, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. All right, guys. At this time, uh, Pastor Moses will come up once again. And he has a special message for us. One final thing, I want to encourage you to come back to church to worship with us. Um, I think it's a great opportunity. It's gotten a lot safer. We have our masks on and we worship, we sing, we jump, and we do activities and we have prizes and all these things. So please come with your parents and let's worship God together. So I hope to see you guys soon at church. And if you can't come, please continue to join us with these videos. Have a blessed week, okay?